What up, though, y'all? It's all hustle, no cap. Today, I'm going to be giving y'all five tips to help you with your 360 photo booth business. All right, so y'all know I've been doing this 360 photo booth business for about like two and a half months now. So it's a couple things that I learned that I'm going to share with y'all that hopefully make y'all journey a little bit easier. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on IG. And before we get into it, I got a question I want y'all to answer in the comments. For those of y'all that have done 360 events, how many events have y'all done so far? All right, so let's get to these tips. Tip number one, bring some help. I already know some of y'all in the background, like I could do this by myself. Shut your stupid ass up. You know what else you could do by yourself? Jump out of an airplane without a parachute, but it's not a good idea, bro. Always bring somebody with you to help, especially if these are your first couple events. Do not attempt to do this by yourself. You need somebody with you, a second pair of eyes, all that. It's a lot of equipment to move. A lot of this equipment is heavy. Bring some help. I know when you first get started, you just want to like make all your money back for yourself, but fuck that. Get you some help, man. It is hard to do this shit by yourself. I would never recommend that. Tip number two, make sure you pack all your stuff. So on my second event, I drove 45 minutes all the way across town, unpacked all my stuff in the booth just to realize that I left my arm at the crib. I ain't gonna lie, I was panicking, but you ain't never supposed to let people see you sweat. So remember this, when in doubt, blame the Wi-Fi. I was able to blame the Wi-Fi for 45 minutes while my partner ran to the crib and got the arm, which is really just an emphasis on tip number one, bring a friend. Just make sure you create a routine or some kind of checklist so you can make sure you got everything in your vehicle because you don't want to show up and be missing shit. Tip number three, look out for little kids. Little kids at these events are the fucking worst, bro. These kids be unattended. Their parents be somewhere drinking their drinks. Some of y'all already know what I'm talking about. Something about a 360 photo booth channels the inner demon and it's like they've been waiting for this moment their whole life. They literally cannot wait to break your machine, so you got to keep an eye on them at all times. That means when they on the booth, that means when they off the booth, that means when they around the booth. You basically got to be that babysitter. Because one thing about kids, they love to run with their head faced the other way. Because if you turn your head for the wrong second, they're going to run around and get smacked in the head and either hurt themselves or break your machine. And that really goes back to tip number one. Bring some help. You need somebody to help you watch these kids while you're doing the photo booth. You can't do both at the same time, for real, for real. Tip number four. Watch out for big kids, a.k.a. the alcoholic adults. They be really drunk, and sometimes you got to kind of gauge it for them. Hey, dummies. What are you guys probably sitting there saying stupid stuff, doing stupid stuff? If they look like they stumble and stuff, don't let them on the booth. Something I noticed that drunk people like to do when they on the booth is they like to try to jump off while it's still moving. So you need to always have your hand or your foot on the trigger so you can stop that machine at any given time because they will fuck your shit up. Tip number five, record everything. Again, this goes back to tip number one and bring a help. You need somebody that's going to get footage while you're running the booth. You really got to get out here and make sure you're getting like video of people having fun and shit because that's good promo for your business. And just remember, there's no such thing as too much content. Anything that you feel is extra afterwards can be deleted, but you can't go back and get extra shit later. So just get as much as you can. Once you get enough footage from doing various events, you can put it together and make a dope ass promo video. So I hope these five tips will help y'all further your business and step your game up. If y'all found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and follow me on IG. I appreciate y'all as always. Peace.